Am I the asshole? For getting my daughter an apartment versus letting her move back in? My daughter, Mallory got married three years ago. She has two children to six months. Recently, her husband revealed he's been cheating on her and is leaving her for another woman. They rent a house but due to my daughter having no credit at the time of moving in, only his name is on the lease. He is giving her 30 days to move out. Mallory is understandably distraught. I've been doing all I can to comfort her. She asked if she could move in with me, explaining she'd have the kids every other week. She assured me she isn't looking for childcare. Both kids are in daycare. She offered to pay rent and chip in on groceries. Now, I have always raised my kids to be independent. I didn't kick them out at 18, but I did encourage them to start doing things on their own. Mallory moved out at 19 moving in with her soon-to-be ex, my sons are in college and plan to move out after graduating from college they're both freshmen at the same university. I asked Mallory how her credit score was. She said she could reasonably rent. I offered to pay first month, last month and a deposit, along with six months rent. She said it's not about the money. She's not wealthy by any means but she does well for herself and her husband is already agreeing to give her money weekly, even before they go to court. She just wants emotional support. I told her I could do that with her living in her own place. She started to cry and said she just needs her mom right now. I told her she was going to be okay. My sons are pissed with me. They pointed out I have plenty of room, that Mallory has offered to pay rent. She's also not the type to shrug off responsibility of the kids and the toddler is well behaved. To me, that doesn't matter. They called me heartless. Am I the asshole? I just need my mom. No. Soon you'll be asking where your relationship went wrong and wishing she would come visit. Info so, why don't you want her to stay with you? Because it wouldn't be something an independent minded person would do. Or some other reason? Info how long is she asking to move in for? Why exactly don't you want her to live with you? Because you want her to be independent? You're the asshole. Moving in with you for a few months while she recovers is not going backwards. And maybe if you weren't so hung up on pushing her to be independent, she wouldn't be married and divorced with two kids by age 24. Might be time to rethink your priorities. Info why don't you want her staying with you for a little while? If it's because you need want your own space, you're NTA. However, if you're doing it because you are trying to raise her to be strong that's very mean. It's also rather late and it could create a serious rift. She started to cry and said she just needs her mom right now. And you hold her at arm's length and just say you'll be fine? What type of mother does that? You're disgusting. She just needs her mom and instead you act as cold as a government charity to her. You're the asshole. Edit spelling. She needs to go to a lawyer ASAP he can't kick her out she needs child support and spousal support forget about everything else right now she needs a lawyer. Chilly willy. I don't think I've seen a colder post. You're the asshole. Unless her lawyer advised her to move out, she stays where she is. Oh, fiat half one I'm going with you're the asshole. Your daughter doesn't need financial support, she just needs her mom. She said she won't be putting child care on you and she is willing to sign a lease with a definite move out date and pay rent. You offering to pay for an apartment isn't the help she needs. She's just had her heart broken, she needs love, not money. Not the asshole and I speak from experience. You're the asshole. It's your house and you can have whoever you want in it, but you're being extremely callous to your daughter, whose life is literally crumbling before her eyes. You're the asshole guess what no matter how old we get sometimes we just want to be near our mom unless you're not that kind of mom. She clearly expects to be responsible for herself and the kids she said she just wants support aka her mom to lean on emotionally and physically. Be that mom. I can understand it's hard to get someone to move out after they've settled in if that's what you're worried about. 
A good workaround would be to just move in with her for a few weeks or a month or two in her new place, then no one needs to be an R and you can keep your space. Nah. She just wants more from you than you can provide. At age 45 you most likely have work responsibilities yourself, especially if you are paying for Mallory's relaunch the way you describe. Not the asshole. You supported her. It might not be how she wanted but that doesn't make you an R. You are not the asshole. From one parent to another. You are deserving of your own space and protecting your peace. You can support your daughter emotionally without having her right up under you. It is fine for you to set this boundary, and you're being extremely generous to help her with finances while she figures things out. Not the asshole. You are so generous I don't know why everybody seems to think that you offering her a place to rent is denying her emotional support. Like you said she's going to have to learn how to handle being a single parent and it's not like you're far away and she can call you anytime and you can even have sleepovers. You don't have to be somebody's 24-7 emotional support puppet to be there for them. Not the asshole. I seem to be going against popular opinion here, OP has every right to not want her daughter and two kids to move back in. She's offered financial support, she's offered emotional support to her. It doesn't make her a bad mother. She's not heartless, she is just doing things differently to how society wants her to. You are doing a lot for your daughter financially, and that's great. She wants your emotionally support. Physically, as in, feeling safe by being near you. I say nah. You are supporting her, but not in all the ways that she wants. And it's okay for her to want more than you can offer. I guess, I just don't see why her being there is an issue. Are you afraid she would never move out? I don't think you are an asshole. Offering financial assistance was good. Your daughter needs to be an adult. You're the asshole. Shady Pines, Ma. Shady Pines. Not the asshole. At all. Stop expecting women to sacrifice their own wants and needs for other people. Not the asshole. Not the asshole you can provide emotional support to someone without having them live with you. They called me heartless. I mean, your daughter came to you for support and you asked about her credit score. Sounds like your sons nailed it. That said, it's ultimately your house and your decision. If you don't want three extra persons in your house, that's fair. You're already offering to subsidize a place for them? Nah. Not the asshole I get you want your own space, perhaps reframe it for your daughter with giving her space to gather her thoughts and independence. Arrange times when you can meet up and spend quality time together. Not the asshole. Whilst this is a difficult time for them, you are doing the right thing by keeping them and wanting them to be independent. It's better for them both short and long run, as you'll always be there for them anyway. I don't think you are T.A. We have no idea if her daughter isn't a joy to live with. Add two babies and grandma is right back to raising the bunch. If you have to let them come, make it a six-month deal. Set the boundaries and stick to them.